Polish friends is Al my pal and I do wear test videos of Polish to see how good the formula is and how long it lasts for. Today I'm going to be wearing and testing out Zoya's Blue, spelt B-L-U. It's a baby blue, just right for spring, transitioning into summertime. It's 10 free, vegan and cruelty free. And I'll explain what that's all about when I do my manicure. So I'll see you in a second. So I'm going in with the first coat of blue. Oh, it's very, it's like a almost chalky um, look to it. It's quite a good coverage. I have to say on the first coat, um, and the brush is one of their, just their classic brushes. Uh, you can actually buy a ZY brush. Uh, you have to pay extra though, unfortunately. So I just don't feel the need to be honest. And also with this small brush, at least you get some kind of it's more exact, especially if you're not brilliant at painting your nails like I am not. Um, I always get it over my cuticles and around the edges, as you can see, which I've just done there. Um, so there we go. You can actually see the ridges of my nails, unfortunately. And there is a net, um, un base coat you can use, uh, ridge coat, base coat, which I sometimes use, which is a Zoya make. But I haven't got that on today. I'm just using the normal Zoya base coat, which is really good. Um, that's tem free, vegan, and cruelty free, uh, as well as the well. They're, all the products in Zoya's range are the same. They're all tem free, cruelty free, and vegan as well. So that's really good. So it's one coat of blue, and I have to say the coverage is very very good on the first coat i didn't expect it to be this good and it's hiding my smile line really well so that's that and i'll see you for the next section so i'm going in with the second coat of blue and i'm just going to explain what uh, 10 free means and that means it's free from some of the potentially harmful chemicals that are found in nail polishes, although manufacturers now are trying to steer clear of them. Um, now, vegan means it does not contain any animal derivatives at all. And cruelty-free means it's not tested on animals. So all in all, I think it's a really great polish. Now, this is brilliant. And I think all you need are two coats. It, full coverage in two coats definitely uh, the only trouble with this Zoya brand is that it does take a while to dry when you put the top coat on which I'm, I'm going to be using the Zoya one uh, it's best not to wash up for a few hours because you'll just get imprints in your rubber Ooh, what's that I think that's a air bubble in your rubber gloves so um, sorry not imprints in your rubber gloves imprints on your nails which i've learned to my cost and i had to redo my manicure again so on top of this i'm going to actually be using the zoya armor top coat uh, and then the speed dry drops which helps it a little bit to dry because uh, obviously being tem free it does take a while uh, for everything to dry off but it's worth it because it does leave it with a really, really good, like an armor plate. So I'm hoping this manicure is going to last me for a good number of days. So we'll see. Uh, so this is two coats of blue. And I will get back to you in a week or so's time and let you know how I got on. This is two coats taken in natural light. Okay, my thoughts. It's a really nice classic Zoya colour. It lasted a week. It's very nice for spring and early summer. I definitely buy it again. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up and to see more wear and test polish videos, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.